I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Macaroni and cheese. cheese. Hey Matsukor, Ryu here. Sorry for the wait, it's been a busy week. And speaking of waiting, I know you don't like to, so let's dive in. The episode begins with the, uh, the school festival. The students think that Tony's rice balls are attracting a lot of business. It's actually Yuki in a dress. Yuki's embarrassed by the situation. So much so, he won't even look Toru in the eyes. Kyo tells him that he gets insecure because he has a girly face. While the main cast are talking about it, Momiji appears and jumps on Yuki's shoulders. Hattori comes in as well. As you'd expect, Toru uh, wants to know that they're part of the Hattori makes a snide remark about Yuki's dress and the fans freak out. Hattori uh, starts checking Yuki's heart and Toru gets concerned. The short of it is, Yuki had a trouble breathing when he was a kid, but he's better. Yuki, I'm asking why he was there, and I'm told he explains how the Luigi brought home a flyer and Akito got interested. He has a fever though, and the Tori has a heavy And Toru explains how she thinks they just all like him. This makes him feel better even if it's a little bit. To uh, Yuki tells Toru um, she'd be cute in the dress and she blushes. Uh, her, br uh, her blushing expression is adorable. And so is her inner monologue. On their way uh, back to class, Yuki warns her to stay away from Hattori because he's the one who wipes minds, uh, wipes everybody's mind. Yuki was a kid. Before they can continue, the one with Hana is not Tori. They assume that she's dating Yuki, but in actuality, she's living with him. And she spills that automatically, or accidentally. <laughs> Tori, when she go in, or, um, Uh, while, uh, or when they find out, they invite themselves over. Why? Snacks. And, uh, see, and to check in to see if Toru is, you know, if it's a suitable living situation. But mostly snacks. And that night, we want to ask Shigeru what his job is. And we find out he's a novelist. He also wrote an erotic novel for fun. Toru is instantly impressed. Uh, Toru and Shigure leave. Toru to get something and Shigure because he has a prior engagement. Uwa laments about how they 
Oh, Phil left out of all this. Kill Yuki basically tell them that Toru's not the type of person who would ask for help. Toru apparently went to get cards to play rich man poor man. She has Yuki cut the cards and Kyo and Uo argue in the back. Meanwhile, Shigure went to visit Akita. Bas he basically tells him that Toru's doing well with him and she's a better person than Akito ever will. Talk about throwing shit. <laughs> in the next scene, while in Toru's room, she tells Nuru and Hana the story behind the hat we've been seeing for all these different episodes. Basically, when she was a kid, uh, she was bullied by the boys in her class. They chased her, she ran away, and got lost. Then a boy wearing the hat uh, found her and helped her find her way. And then he gave her the hat. For some reason, Kyo is eavesdropping on this. Uo and Hana uh, talk about how the Somas get her in the selflessness. The next morning, Kyo and Yuki are about to get into it, but are interrupted by the presence of Uo and Hana because they forgot they were there. They basically say that they're fine with Toru living there. Then the phone rings and Toru answers. It's Hato. He invites her to a secret meeting at the main house. And if she doesn't go, he might wipe her memory. And there you have it. Episode, oh, the episode ends. Yeah, how they keep merging events together feels kind of rushed, but that's to be expected. And I'm enjoying it. But of course, that's just my thought. What are yours? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe, uh, that subscribe button, bell for notifications. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned and I will see you soon.